Now, Richard, you have everything that you need for school today? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just super excited to meet everybody. It's going to be awesome. I know you'll be fine because you are a billionaire, a multi-billionaire. You are like the richest person ever. Well, not really, Dad. You're the billionaire. My son, too, is a billionaire, okay? You're rich and you're going to be popular. Everything's going to be amazing. You're going to be the coolest person ever. Uh, I hope so, Dad. I don't want people to like me for my money. I just want people to hang out with me. Oh, my goodness. Hello there, Richard. Oh, hey there. How's it going? I'm the principal of the school, and I just wanted to personally say thank you for coming over here. Everybody's so excited to have you. You should be excited, okay? And what extra benefits do we get this year, okay? Are we getting free lunches? I want to make sure that he has fine cuisine at lunch, okay? I'm talking lobster, filet mignon, the best of the best foods you could possibly get. Dad, no, it's fine. I don't need any of that stuff. Oh, no, you definitely need to. Uh, I mean, you are already the most popular person at this school. I, I just have a feeling this is going to be a great year for all of us. Wow, okay. Wow, this locker, I guess, is okay. I wonder if my dad could give me an all gold one. That would be so cool. Hey, are you the new kid in town? Yeah, yeah, my name's Richard. I just got to school. Whoa, wait a minute. Did you fly in on that helicopter? Yeah, that was mine. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Hey, uh, do you think we could go for a ride in it sometime? I've never been in a helicopter. Yeah, of course. That would be awesome. I'd love to hang out with you. I have my pilot. He could probably pick us up later on or something. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Uh, hi there. My name's Cody, and I heard that you're rich. I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty rich. Yeah, well, we should definitely be friends then. You only want to be friends because I'm rich? I don't know, man. This doesn't sound like a good thing. No, nah, trust me, dude. I'm like a super popular kid here. You and I are going to have so much fun. I'm telling you, you're going to meet the coolest people. You're already popular. I'll bring that to like the stratosphere, man. You'll be the most popular kid in the whole world. I don't know. I guess I'm always down to meet new people. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to be so cool. Man, this is awesome. Everybody's being super nice to me. I mean, I'm just fitting in so well. I can't believe it. Oh, man, that kid looks really sad. Hey, dude, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. The sandwich I packed today has mold all over it. I guess we couldn't afford new bread or anything. Oh, man, I'm really sorry about that. Look, I got this expensive steak for lunch, and I don't need it. You can have it. What? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Yeah, it's no worries at all. I get them all the time. You are like so nice. I can't believe this. Thank you so much, man. What is your name? I'm Richard. I'm Ian. Thank you again. I don't know how to, I don't know what else to say. This is literally one of the nicest things ever. It's okay, dude. It's just lunch. People are pretty mean to be around here. People call me a nerd. Sometimes they just steal my lunch and throw it in the garbage. And I have to eat it out of the garbage. Wow, that's really messed up. I think you're a pretty nice person. Oh, thank you very much. But you don't have to say that. No, I mean it. Maybe we should hang out sometime. I mean, I'm new here and I don't know a lot of people yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would uh, Yeah, I would absolutely love to hang out with you. That would be great. Dude, I can't believe how good you were at that game. Yeah, I know. I practice all the time. I have like a really cool setup at home, but I broke it. So I haven't been playing it for a while. Oh, man, I would love to check it out. I'm really good at fixing stuff. So if, if your PC is messed up, I could totally fix it for free. Wow, dude, thank you so much. That would be awesome. Uh, what is going on here, man? Oh, hey, Cody, what's up? Uh, hi. Don't talk to me, nerd. You know I'm cool and popular. You don't get to talk to me, man. Hey, dude, what are you doing? You know that hanging out with him is going to ruin your whole reputation. No one's going to think that you're cool, dude. Hey, I'm cool. Why don't you get out of here? Why don't you shut your mouth, you idiot? Oh, oh. Man, I can't stand Cody. That guy's awful. I hate how he acts. He's always so mean. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we're out of school for the day. How's your head? I'm fine. I'm not too hurt from Cody. Want to hang out this afternoon? Oh, man, I can't. I got to stay home and do homework. Uh, okay, I totally understand. Well, I hope that we can hang out soon again. 
Yeah, we will for sure, dude. No worries. All right, I gotta go. I'll see you later on. Jeez, I feel really bad, but I gotta do this. Hey, Cody, what's up, man? I can't wait to hang out today. It's gonna be so cool. Yeah, well, you better not be late, bro, because it's not gonna look good for you if you are, you know what I mean? What do you mean by that? Dude, people wanna see you, okay? If you say you're gonna show up, then you better show up when you're supposed to. All right, I'll show up when I'm supposed to, jeez. Man, I really wanna do something fun. Maybe we could, like, buy some cool stuff. Oh, I don't know. What do you want to buy? I mean, buying stuff's kind of boring. Dude, are you kidding me? You could buy me, like, a new Gucci shirt or, like, some Supreme gear or even, like, get me a bunch of Robux, you know what I mean? Well, I did spend a lot of money last night on shameplace.shop. Yeah, I spent a bunch of money there, too, man. I got all the merch that he has. It's so sick. Yeah, it is really cool. But I don't know, dude. I already spent a lot of money. Man, you're so boring, dude. You know what we should do? We should get a drone and mess with people. That'd be so hilarious. We could do so many pranks. I don't know, a drone? Do you even know how to fly one of those things? Nah, dude, I don't know how to fly one, but I could figure it out if we bought the sickest one. Like one of those super expensive ones, you know? I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't want to just like bother people for no reason. Dude, do you like ever like to have fun or what's your problem? Because... You seem like you might be really lame, and I so thought you were cool and popular. I'm not boring, okay? Why do you keep saying that? Well, because, like, you don't want to do anything, and we're just standing around here in this stupid park. I mean, geez, man, you're a billionaire. You can't think of anything cool to do? You want to just sit here and talk? Well, I just thought that we would hang out and maybe have a couple of laughs. Yeah, well, I'm not laughing, man. I'm really bummed out. Wait, I thought you said that there was a bunch of people that were going to be meeting us here. Nah, dude, I lied. It was just me. I was just messing with you. It's one of my pranks. See how much fun we could have? You bought the stupid drone? God, you're so boring. I'm not boring, okay? How about this? Boom, I just bought the drone, man. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, that's the spirit. Now we can have some fun. Oh, gosh, I don't know if this is going to be fun or not. Ha, ah, dude, crashing that drone was so much fun. I can't believe it. Dude, that drone was $30,000. Yeah, man, you got the one with the gold plating and everything. It was so sick to watch it explode. You really think that was cool, man? $30,000 is a lot of money. Yeah, but it's no big deal. Well, it kind of is a big deal. We could have done something good with that money. We couldn't have given the money to charity or something. Gosh, dude, who even are you? You're like such a bummer. We just crashed the $30,000 drone and all you can think about is how much money it was? I mean, geez, dude, not everybody gets to have that experience. Why don't you feel grateful? Well, I am grateful that I had enough money to buy it, but I'm ashamed of what we did with it. Why wouldn't we just use it for something good or maybe not spend $30,000 on a drone? Richard? What are you doing out here? Oh, this loser, are you kidding me? Oh, hey man, I can explain. No, I can't believe this, you lied to me. You lied to me, you said you couldn't hang out today because you had homework. Oh, I sort of did, but then Cody called me and, oh what, so you pick him because he's a cool popular kid? You're just like everybody else, you're horrible to me. Were you even my friend? Yeah, of course I'm your friend, I just, I don't know, I was confused. It doesn't seem like Cody and you get along and I just didn't want to make it awkward. You betrayed me. You literally just took my friendship and crushed it. Ha ha, cry baby in. <laughs> I can't believe that's who you'd rather hang out with with me, man. I guess I know your personality now. And honestly, if you like to hang out with people like him, I don't want to hang out with you because you're a terrible person. No, oh, Ian, please, let me explain. Yeah, see you later, little crybaby loser. Ha <laughs> ha, look at him cry and run away. Hey, Richard, what's going on? You okay? No, I just had a really bad day. Well, where's your friend Ian? I actually like that weird little guy. He's hilarious. He also helped fix my phone the other day. Couldn't figure it out. You know me. I don't know. I've got a new friend now, and they're like way more popular and stuff, but they're super mean. They're so horrible to Ian, and I was kind of bad to him today. Oh my gosh, you actually seem like you're upset about this. I thought hanging out with popular kids was a good thing. Yeah, I thought so too, but it's not, Dad. I have no idea what to do. I don't even think Ian ever wants to talk to me again. 
Look, I know this is going to sound weird coming from me, but it's not about being popular all the time. You got to be around people that really care about you. Really? Yeah, I know I like to flex my money and, you know, act like I'm all tough and everything, but I still have best friends. And let me tell you, they're not all the coolest people. Some of them aren't even billionaires. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had a best friend growing up and him and I were both poor and I became a billionaire and he stayed poor. But guess what? He's still my best friend. Did you help him? Of course I helped him. I bought him a house and gave him a job and gave him a bunch of money. But the point is, you have to stand by your friends. No matter who they are or what they do for work or how popular they are, they're still your friends. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now I don't know what to do. I mean, Ian's done so much for me compared to everybody else. Well, now you have to make things right with Ian. That's the answer. Yeah, you know what, Dad? You're so right. Gosh, we should talk like this more often. I'm very proud of you, my son. Now go get your friend back. Stop hanging out with these losers. And also, while you're out, pick me up a gold-plated steak, okay? That's right. I want gold around my steak tonight. I'm feeling extra hungry and extra rich. Man, school's been so weird. I haven't been able to find Ian at all. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, hey, Cody. Hey, man, I got this great idea. Remember how Ian's a total loser? We should go and TP his house, you know? No, dude, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Oh, you know what's another idea? You could get your private jet and you could fly us somewhere really cool and we could stay there and like get some really expensive food or something. And then maybe go shopping after. Why don't you pay for it then if that's what you want to do? Dude, I can't afford a private jet. You know that. Well, it seems like all you want to do is hang out with me for my money. It doesn't seem like you care about my friendship at all. What are you talking about, man? All right, yeah, you having money is pretty cool and everything. Jeez, I mean, I thought you liked your money too. Yeah, I do. But after seeing how you treated Ian yesterday, I can like totally see who you really are now. All right, Ian's a good person and you're just mean to him for no reason. Uh, it's not no reason, dude. It's because he's a loser. He's a poor loser, man. He's not popular and no one likes him. Well, I like him, okay? Ian's a good person. Whoa, where's this coming from, dude? Are you like not cool? No, I'm not cool, okay? You're an awful person to be around. I'd rather jump in a dumpster than be around you. Wow, really? All right, fine. Good luck being more popular at this school. I don't need to be popular, dude. I don't care. Don't come crying back to me when everyone starts making fun of you for hanging out with Ian, okay? I don't care if anyone makes fun of me. And get out of here. Enjoy, like, hanging out and being the stupidest person ever. I gotta go find Ian and I gotta talk to him. I gotta make this right. property what are you here to make fun of me no i'm not here to make fun of you man i just want to talk why so you can lie more look i don't care that you're rich and you got a ton of money and i don't i don't care if you're popular i thought you were my friend man yeah i know i, I am your friend okay and i i was just blinded by being popular and having money it's nice when people like you dude well i guess i wouldn't know that would i well you should because i'm your friend i'm standing here right now all right, I would never choose popularity or money over anyone ever again. It was a terrible decision. Go on. Well, and honestly, man, like you and Cody did not get along very well. And I didn't want him beating you up or anything like that. It was for your safety too. Ugh, gosh, I guess you're right, man. Look, dude, you can't hang out with people like that anymore. It's awful. You're not that type of person. And I thought you were for a little while and I was pretty upset. I was probably more upset about that than anything else. Yeah, it was a really horrible way to treat somebody, honestly, man. And I'm really sorry. That's fine. You want to hang out? Maybe we can just, like, forget about all this, put it in the past? Yeah, well, I have this awesome surprise for you. Check this out. I got my helicopter with me. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. A helicopter? I've never been in one of those before. We go on this awesome ride on the helicopter, dude, and then maybe we can stop and get something for lunch. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Can we go to, like, another city or something? Like, Brookhaven? Yeah, we can go wherever you want. Come on, man. Let's go. All right, here he is, your happy, healthy little baby boy. Forgive me for being so long, but this hospital is insanely busy today. 
Do you have any idea how long you've been keeping us waiting? It's very inconsiderate. I can't believe you would do this. How do we even know that's our baby? You were taking so long. Now look at what you've done. You've made my baby cry. I can't believe you would do such a thing and you call yourself a doctor. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry about all this. No, shut up. I don't even want to listen to your poor excuses anymore. <sighs> Let's just get out of here. I think I saw a spider in one of the corners. Oh, this hospital is absolutely dreadful. All these poor people are going to give me germs. You see that, David? Look, this will be your car when you get older. Oh, isn't it cute? We'll make sure you have everything you could possibly need. In this house, money literally grows on trees. Oh, George, there you are. Oh, thank you for coming on time. Please take our coats, take everything, take the baby. We need to get out of here. Uh, yes, ma'am, absolutely. And George, you're going to be taking care of the baby and making sure that he has anything that he needs. Uh, yes, of course, sir. I'll make sure little David wants for nothing in this world. Oh, that sounds perfect. All right, call the car. Let's go home. Oh, I need to soak my feet in the bath. Uh, I was called over. I, I heard someone wanted to buy the, the entire place. Yeah, that's right. That's me. Hi, I'm Dave. I was wondering if I could purchase this store. I really love it a lot. The clothes are incredible and the location is perfect. That, that's not even possible, right? You can't just come in here and, and want to buy a store like that. Well, why not? I love this place and I want it for myself. I've got plenty of money here. Oh, oh my goodness, is, is, this, is this all fake? Are, are, you being real? are you being serious right now? Oh, no way. Nope, it's all real, I promise. So what do you say? I say I'm gonna go buy a new Lambo later. Excuse me, sir. Do, do you do you work here? Well, sort of. I just bought the place. Um, can I help you with something? You bought the place? Holy moly! You must have a lot of money. I was wondering if I can maybe have a few items here, like maybe a few shirts or something. Mine are all torn and gross, and they smell so bad. Oh, you just want me to give you free clothes? Um, I mean, it does look like you could need it, but. I mean, that doesn't make a whole lot of business sense. Yo, David. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, hi, Harold. I just bought this store and this man wanted some free shirts. Wait, you're going to give things to this homeless man? Dude, he deserves nothing. Why are you doing that? Please, I, I, I'm i not just homeless. I'm more than that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a really good person. I, I just really need the help. Okay, so you can like beg for money on the street like you normally do, but we're not giving handouts here, okay? So bye. Get lost, loser. <laughs> oh man, that was a rough social interaction. Yeah, you don't say. Dude, we're best friends and we are too rich to deal with stuff like that, okay? You can't do anything like that. You can't give free stuff to homeless people. They'll just keep coming back asking for more. Trust me. Harold, I got your text. What's going on? Oh, dude, you're not going to believe it. I got us both new cars. Check it out. Oh my gosh, no way. Wait a second. I, I know these sports cars. They only make like 10 of these in the whole world. I know. They're super exclusive and super expensive. Dude, get in. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you so much for the car. It's so much fun to drive. Yeah, isn't it great? I mean, we're on top of the whole world right now. We're driving in fast cars and we get to look out on the city and just do whatever we want. Yeah, it is really nice. 
And this view is incredible. Yeah, the city is just awful though. What, what do you mean? Well, there's so many poor people in it. Well, Harold, I mean, not everybody can be as rich as us. Yeah, but what if they could be? Or what if this city was full of only rich people like us? Well, I mean, I guess that would be kind of cool. It'd be kind of like a big, expensive, fancy, rich people only club or something. You know, I actually found out how much the city is worth, and I think we could totally buy it. Really? You think so? Yeah, it's actually surprisingly not that expensive. It's only like $16 million. Oh, wow. That is actually really cheap. I mean, I just made that much last week alone. Exactly. So what do you say? I think we should buy the place and make it our own exclusive club only for rich people. We'll kick all the poor people out and we'll be able to run free. All right, let's do it. All right, Master David, the plane is ready to take off. All your luggage is inside, packed away, and there's about three bottles of that exclusive gold-flaked water that you like so much. Oh, thank you so much, George. You seriously are the best butler around. It's my job, sir. Everything is planned out for your trip, and you should be all set to have a perfect vacation. Thank you so much, George. That will be all for now. Of course, sir. Enjoy your trip, and have a safe flight. Yo, Dave, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going on a little vacation is all. I figured I'd go and, you know, clear my mind before we start our plan on buying the city. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, how long will you be gone for? Uh, I'm only going to be a couple days, you know? How long can you stay on a private island for before you get bored, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, just be careful, okay? I heard there was a storm heading your way. Oh, don't worry. My personal pilot has been flying for years. He'll be able to avoid a little storm, no problem. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Good luck with your trip. I'll get everything ready while you're gone. I can't wait to see the look on all those poor people's faces when we kick them out of town. Oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I know, it'll be so funny. I can't wait. Well, I'll see you later, dude. Oh man, flying private is the only way to fly. I can't believe normal people fly together on a plane. Ugh. They're disgusting. What's going on? I've never heard that sound before. Is that some kind of alarm? What is going on? Uh, sir, I'm very sorry, but the, the plane is unstable. We're, we're going down. What? No. Oh, no. My head is splitting. Oh my gosh, my arm is sore too. I think it's broken. What happened to the plane? Oh my gosh, where is, where is everybody? Hello, pilot? Stuart, where are you? Hello? Oh no, am I alone? I don't think there's anybody here. Oh, where on earth even am I? This doesn't look like a private island. This is not good. I, I've got to find some help. I guess I have to go into the forest. Ugh, out in nature like this. Disgusting. Hello? Anybody there? Can anybody help me? Oh, you! You there! Hey, get off my property. What are you doing? My private jet just crashed. Didn't you hear the commotion? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I just thought it was my stomach rumbling. Do you have like a cell phone, or a laptop, or anything? I need to get in contact with my family. I need to call home. You think if I had a cell phone, I wouldn't sell it immediately to be able to buy some food? And they say I'm the crazy one. <laughs> so what? You're just some homeless person that lives out in the woods? Yeah, obviously. Dude, we're best friends and we are too rich to deal with stuff like that, okay? You know what? You're absolutely useless. Just like every other poor person out there. Thanks for nothing, loser. Good luck living in the woods. This is so stupid. I can't believe that loser didn't even have a phone. Who doesn't have a phone now? It's 2021. Now I'm just stuck here in the middle of these woods. I've got to find my way out of here. What was that noise? Is someone there? Show yourself. Oh, it's just the wolf. 
That's not very scary. Go on, shoo! Get out of here! Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh no, they're gonna eat me alive. This is it. This is the end for me. I didn't even get to live my life outright. Get out of here! Get! Go on, get! Are you alright? I'm fine. That was pretty close though. Those wolves looked hungry. Thank you. Thank you so much. You you actually saved my life. Why would you do that? Well, everyone's human. No matter where they came from, and nobody should be left to die. But I was so rude to you. I called you stupid and poor. I'm pretty used to it, and it doesn't really matter anyway. Because like I said, everyone is human. So why do you live out here in the middle of the woods? I was forced out of the town I was living in, and... I had nowhere to live. We were too poor to afford anything, so the rich people in the town kicked us out. I'm so sorry. It must feel awful to not have a home. I made do with what I had, and I found a way to live life to the fullest. Even in the middle of a forest, all alone, with absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh, Dave! Whoa, I'm so glad we found you! Harold, it's you! What are you doing here? How, how did you find me? Well, I was tracking your flight and it just suddenly went off the radar. So I was like, uh-oh, that's probably in the middle of the storm. So I called the National Guard and we came and saved you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, come on, let's get out of here. These woods are gross. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving me. I owe you my life and, and I'm going to help you out of here. I promise. Yeah, I appreciate that, but... I do doubt it. I'm not welcome anywhere. That's why I live in these woods. No one wants me in their town. Well, I'm actually very, very wealthy and I'll be able to help you. I'll be able to give you some money or something. I don't want your money. Listen, just go back to your rich mansion and leave me here. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Feels so good to be home and my arm is all healed up and and things are finally back to normal. I still can't believe that man saved my life. I was surely a goner. And he didn't even want any of my money? Money didn't make that man a good person. He just was. I think I need to start making some better choices in my life. Yo, Dave. So how does it feel to be back? Oh, Harold, it feels great to be home. Well, listen, we should go out and get some food to celebrate. I know a really fancy restaurant. Sure, why not? I could use some good food. All right, dude, here it is. This is the fanciest restaurant in the city. Oh, 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 oh God, it's you again. Uh, do you happen to have any spare money? I really need to buy some food. Yeah, of course I've got money. Here, take this. Oh my God, really? All of this money? This is like a thousand dollars. Yeah, of course, it's, it's really nothing. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna go get some food and, and buy a few shirts. <laughs> Thank you. You're so much better than your friend. Uh, Dave, what was that? Why did you do that? What, what do you mean? I told you before that if you give them anything, they'll just come back begging for more. Well, Harold, it's obvious that that man needed help. And I've got plenty of extra money, so why wouldn't I help him? Well, because we don't even want those people in our town. So why would you give them money if we're just going to be kicking them out soon? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't want to judge people anymore on the things they have, you know, and don't have. So what? That man needed help, and, and I could help him. So I feel like I did the right thing. Dude, who even are you anymore? You've completely changed. I'm still the same person. What are you talking about? The Dave I used to know used to rent out a whole movie theater just to make sure there was nobody sitting next to him when he was watching a movie. You've completely changed, and it's honestly a gross look on you. I just want to do better things with my life, that's all. And if you can't understand that, maybe we shouldn't even be friends. We've been friends forever, but maybe you're right. Maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. I don't want to be friends with a loser like you. What on earth is wrong with me? What was I even thinking? 
getting Harold to buy the town with me and kicking everybody out? That's an awful idea. We'll destroy so many lives by doing that, and that's not right. I'm going to stop him before he buys the town. He has enough money to do it on his own. And once Harold sets his mind to something, he's going to do it. I made a promise to that homeless man in the woods, and I'm going to keep my promise. It's just awful I can't trust Harold anymore. I thought I knew who he was. I thought he was a good person, my best friend. But I don't want to be friends with someone like that. Not anymore. Yeah, well, I don't want to be friends with you either. Harold, what are you doing? Were you listening to me the whole time? You were talking out loud. That's so dumb. I could hear everything you were saying about me. Well, I'd say it to your face, too. Kicking people out because they're poor is an awful thing to do. I can do whatever I want, okay? And we were in total agreement that that was an awesome idea. I don't know why you suddenly changed your mind. You know what, Harold? I have changed. I've changed for the better. Someone made me realize the way I was acting was awful. And being materialistic and only thinking about money isn't the way to live your life. Oh, what? That homeless man in the woods you were talking about? He's obviously trying to take advantage of you. He just wants your money. I offered him money to help him and he said no. He was fine without it. If you love poor people so much, maybe I should have left you there to hang out with them for the rest of your life. Harold, you're... you're a jerk. You're a really mean person. I don't know why I've been friends with you for so long. I'm gonna stop you from buying this town. I'll make sure of it. Oh yeah? You'll do nothing. Ow! What? You just punched me! Why, why would you do that? Because I'm gonna go buy that town right now, and you won't do anything about it. Harold, stop! You can't! Harold! Oh man, I need to catch my breath. I forgot how fast Harold's car is. I need to stop him, but... He's probably already at City Hall right now, making the deal, buying the town, kicking everybody out. I'm probably too late. What am I gonna do? Hi there, little citizens. I see that you is looking sad. Is you doing all right? I'm just trying to get to Town Hall. I need to get there fast before my friend does something awful. Okay, well, I can help you out. That's my job, y'all. Really? You'll help me? Um, does guacamole belong on burritos? The answer to that is yes. I'm the police officer from. I can escort you to the whole city and no one will be getting our way, y'all. Oh my gosh, that, that would be awesome. All right, now come on, we gotta get going. All right. I think we made it just in time. I don't see Harold's fancy sports car anywhere. I, I think we beat him. You did it, Officer Rufus. You saved the day. Yes, that's right. Officer Rufus saved the day, y'all. Yes. Ugh, what are you doing here? Harold, please wait. Just listen to me, okay? I know you're a good person, and good people don't do things like what you're about to do. You helped me come up with this idea. You thought that it would be fun. I did, but after that plane crash, I I just realized things, you know? That man that was living in the woods saved my life, Harold. There were wolves, and I was going to be eaten alive. And he came out of nowhere and saved me, just out of the goodness of his heart. And he was only out there because he was kicked out of his hometown for being poor. That's exactly what we were going to do to the people in this town. Don't you see? We would have been hurting people. Honestly, the only person I care about is me. And I dream of living in a city with more people like me. So nothing you could say could possibly change my mind because my mind is set. Harold, please stop. You can't do this. Well, I'm going to. And actually, I'm going to have you kicked out of the city too once I'm in control. Harold, stop! Mrs. Mayor, I have a deal that you can't refuse. Oh, and what would that be? Well, I'd like to buy the city, and I have a lot of money to pay for it. Wait, stop! No, Mrs. Mayor, you can't do this! I want to buy the town, and I have more money than he could imagine! He is lying. We have the same amount of money. He does not have any more money than me, and I came to you first. No, Mrs. Mayor, you can't sell the town to this man. You just can't. 
And why not? He's here with the money. Well, uh, be because I I have a red ocelot locust, the most exclusive sports car in the world, and, and I'll add it to my deal. It'll be yours if you let me buy the town instead. I've always wanted that red sports car. Oh, fine, here you go. You can have the rights to the city. <laughs> Dude, I gave you that car. What are you doing? Well, Harold, I I just don't have the need for it anymore. I can't believe you. I can't believe that you just did that. Well, Harold, you should have listened to me. And honestly, I hope one day you can understand what I did. I don't think I'll ever understand. And I can't believe you got rid of that sports car I gave you. That was a great gift. It was a great gift, Harold, absolutely. But it's a material object. And it really means nothing to me at the end of the day. Money is not everything, and people aren't defined by the size of their wallets. I hope someday you understand that. Man, this job is so tough, but I think it'll be worth it. One day I'm gonna be a famous doctor and help people all over the world. But I have to start somewhere, and I guess mopping the halls is where I'm gonna start. Ew, Eric, what are you doing? You're still at work? Hey, Marsha. Yeah, I just had to pick up an extra shift here so I could pay for rent this week. Ugh, Eric, I'm so tired of you being at work all the time, and you're still broke. Like, do you even work hard? Um, yeah, I work hard all the time, and someday it's gonna pay off. Good things don't just happen overnight, Marsha. Well, I'm tired of waiting, Eric, and you know what? I'm done with this relationship. It's going nowhere because you're going nowhere. You're a broke loser. What? You can't be serious. Marsha, you're not breaking up with me, are you? Yeah, I am. You're a loser. Marsha, I'm not a loser. I'm just going through hard times right now. Maybe I don't have all the money in the world, but that's not going to be forever. You're a loser. Bye. Oh man, this day couldn't get any worse. First Marsha breaks up with me while I'm at work, and then I walk straight into a puddle on my way home. Oh man, this is awful. I just feel like my heart is completely broken. Why would Marsha do that to me? Oh, well, I guess I can just go inside and take a break. Oh, hi Mr. Alexipokos, how are you today? Oh, whoa, what are you doing here? You're trespassing. Trespassing? What do you mean? I, I rent a room here. Rent? I haven't got your rent yet. You don't rent anything. Listen, sir, I picked up some extra overtime, and I can promise you I can pay you next week. Ah, that's enough. I've had enough of this poorness. You know what? This is too much. I think you need to get out. What? Mr. Alexipokos, please, please, I don't have anywhere to go, and my girlfriend just broke up with me, and this has been the worst day. Please don't do this to me. Please, I have nowhere to go. Well, sorry to hear it, but sounds like your day is getting worse. I ain't got time for you, so you gotta get out of here. Okay, well, at least can I go get my stuff? No, it's all burned in the back. What? You burnt all my stuff? How could you do that? Uh, this is my place, and there's a bunch of stuff laying around. Just get out of here. Oh, fine. I can't believe I have to stay here now. I hope I don't get caught because I don't think I should be here if I'm not working. I don't know. This is so tough. I could never imagined I'd be homeless as well. Eric, hello. What's going on? Are you upset? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just went through a really bad breakup. That's all. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I, I noticed you've been staying in this room. What's going on? Me? Staying here? No, 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 I'm not staying here at all. Look, I know you probably need a place to stay. I, I overheard you last night talking to yourself, saying how upset you were that your landlord kicked you out of your house. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. Listen, I'll just get my stuff and I'll leave, okay? I don't want to be any trouble. Thank you. I know you're down on your luck, but these rooms are for sick people who need it. And unfortunately, you can't be staying here. You know what? You're right. I'm I'm really sorry. It's really selfish of me. You know what? Come to think of it, we may have a room or two that's empty. You can stay there. Really? Are you sure? Oh my goodness, thank you so much for your kindness. I really appreciate it. I'm kind of down on my luck and this is really all I have right now. 
Yes, of course, no problem. I can't believe things are finally starting to look up for me. A little bit, at least. I'm starting to save some of my money now that I'm staying at the hospital. I think I'm gonna try and go to school and become a doctor. Maybe I can try and find some classes to take or something? I've got nothing to lose at this point, and I'll never be a doctor unless I try. Uh, hey, Marsha, isn't that that loser you dated before? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's Eric. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, Marsha. Um, who is this guy? This is my boyfriend. Something you wish you were. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, loser. Hey, I'm not a loser. I was gonna say it was nice to meet you, but it's really not. Oh, listen, so he's a loser and he thinks he's a tough guy, huh, Marsha? Ew, can you stop arguing? It's just gross. I don't want to hear it, but yeah, he is a loser. You know what, Marsha? I'm actually not a loser, okay? I'm planning on going to school to be a doctor. Oh, wow. Yeah, great. Haven't heard that before. Well, it was good to see you, but I gotta go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe the high school is doing college classes at night. This is incredible. I'll be able to work really hard during the day and not change my schedule around. And then I can come here and do classes... Oh, this is going to be awesome. No one's going to stand in my way. Um, hi, sir. Um, I'm here for the class, but where, where is everybody? Is it just going to be me? Yeah, there's no class. They cut the program. What? They cut the class? Oh, no. What am I going to do? Do you think they're going to give us our money back? This class was really expensive. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. They don't have any refund policy. No refund policy? Oh man, you've gotta be kidding. This is awful. I've been scammed out of my money. I worked so hard to pay for this class. Yeah, you're telling me? I showed up here. I'm not even getting paid. What? You're not even getting paid? Oh wow, man, I'm really sorry. It looks like this was a bad deal for all of us. Do you think there's anything I can do? Honestly, I, there's nothing that I can do, so I apologize. It's okay, well... I guess I'll have to figure something out. Just another setback in my life. Hello, Eric. How's it going? Hi, Dr. Leah. To be honest, it's really not going that great. I just tried to take a class, you know, try to improve myself, and it come to find out that it's just a scam and they took all my money. The class wasn't even real. Oh, wow. That's terrible. Well, maybe I can help you. You know, I really appreciate that, but I think it's just time I give up. You know, I think it's just a sign that none of this is really worth it. What? No. Eric, that's a terrible attitude to have. You can't just give up. All good things in life don't come easy, you know. Yeah, that's true. I just, you know, haven't been having an easy time of it at all lately. I've actually been really lonely as well. I don't have a whole lot of friends, and with my girlfriend breaking up with me, I'm kind of by myself. Well, look, my friend's a professor, and he does great online courses, and I'm sure I could get you into his program for free. I'll let him know what a hard worker you are. Really? Are you serious? That's incredible. I mean, I'd be so down for that, but, I mean, no money, and, like, I kind of feel bad, but if this is going to happen, yeah, I'll take the opportunity. Thank you so much. Look, you don't have to worry so much all the time. It's not a problem. You deserve it, and someday, you're going to make a great doctor. Wow, looking back a couple of months, things certainly have changed. I'm doing great in my online classes. I'm getting A's across the board. And I got a promotion at work too. I'm no longer a janitor. I'm working the front desk. Things are starting to really go well for me, and I'm starting to finally feel happy. Maybe this is all the change that I needed. Now I've got this whole brand new place. Things are really starting to look up for me. What does that smell? It smells like... No. No. Oh my gosh, no! No! There's a fire! All my things! Oh my gosh, no, no, no! You know, I'm really sorry for this setback, but you've been doing so well, Eric. Please, don't let this discourage you. I promise, I won't let this bad situation take me down like that. I've come too far now to quit. 
That's true. And any good doctor knows how to pick themselves up in a crazy situation. And if you do that, then you're gonna make a great doctor. I sure hope so. I've always wanted to be a doctor. That way I could help people when they're feeling sick. It just feels so good to be able to help other people, and I can't wait to do that. But I think I'm going to have to leave Brookhaven for a while and finish my classes when things get back to normal. Yes, onward and upward. Just keep going, Eric. You'll achieve your dream in no time. Wow, I can't believe it. Two years and my whole life has completely changed. It's my first day on my brand new job and I'm finally a doctor. I'm going to make sure I'm a famous one at that too. I'm going to save everybody and I have my own YouTube channel now where I'm helping people all over the world. I just want to give back to everybody and help the people of Brookhaven as well. And I'm excited to go work with Dr. Leah. She's become my best friend in all of this and my biggest supporter. We're gonna help so many people, save so many sick lives, just like we dreamed. I can't believe my life has actually worked out the way I wanted it to. It's taken a long time to get here and there were definitely bumps in the road, but after all of that, it's finally worth it. Oh man, Eric, you're gonna be late. We gotta go. room is. He ate way too many burritos and couldn't stop farting. So I had to drop him off at the hospital, but I don't even know what room they put him in. Oh, there's a doctor over there. I should probably go talk to him. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Wow, Marsha. Hi, I can't believe it. It's really you. Are you playing dress up, Eric, or are you like a real doctor? No, Marsha. I'm actually a real doctor now. We haven't seen each other for a long time and Things have changed. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe I doubted you either. I'm so sorry. I probably should have treated you better because look, you actually achieved a goal. That's so cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And you know, honestly, it's okay that you did everything you did because if you didn't, I wouldn't be here now. You kind of set me up on this whole journey of my life and all the stuff I went through. And now here I am, a doctor, just like I said I was going to be. Wow. Well, good for you. But hey, uh, do you know where Luke's room is? You know, my boyfriend. Oh, you mean the guy that can't stop farting? Yeah, he's just down the hall. Um, he's good to go. Maybe you should just take him home, because this place is starting to stink. say, Curtis, it is so amazing being rich. Well, obviously, there's no other way to be. <laughs> now tell me, are you coming to my yacht party next week? Oh, yes, of course. I would not miss it for the world. I mean, we have the two biggest yachts in all of Roblox. I mean, why wouldn't we want to show them off to all the peasants watching from afar? Yes, and we watch them cry and hope and pray that one day they'll be just like us. When we know the truth, there'll be nothing. <laughs> it's true. And oh, I gotta say, it has been terrible. There's been so many awful poor people around lately. It's disgusting. It makes me want to vomit. I agree. And could you imagine just living near them? Ugh, it's so gross. Oh, what, what is that? It's, it's the sensory alarm. Quick, come on, let's go check the cameras. Look, there's a poor person outside of our house. Reginald, this is disgusting. We must put an end to this immediately. Yes, come on, let's go. Let's get them out of here. Excuse me, disgusting poor person. What do you think you're doing? Uh, hey, nothing. I was just walking by. You have quite the nerve walking by here! 
Don't you see this is the rich people only club? You need to leave immediately. Clearly you're not rich. Well, I was just trying to walk home, man. I don't want to hear your excuses. If you don't leave, I will call the commissioner and he will have you thrown in jail. He's a close friend of mine. <laughs> yes. Now walk home to your cardboard box, you poor homeless freak. Whatever, guys. I don't need this. Mac, I can't believe it, man. I was trying to walk home, and I had to pass that stupid rich people only club, and they were super mean to me, man. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's awful. Yeah, I'd stay away from that place if I were you. It's filled with nothing but jerks. Yeah, I know. They came outside, and they called me, like, poor and disgusting and all this horrible stuff. And then, dude, like, I have no choice but to walk by there, okay? I was coming home from work, you know? Yeah, I know. Chances are some of those people probably haven't worked a day in their lives. I know, seriously, man. <sighs> Whatever. I don't want to be a part of some stupid club like that anyway. I can't believe that they even let that exist. Yeah, it's kind of crazy once you think about it. A rich people only club? How lame is that? I know, whatever. I wouldn't want to hang out with a bunch of stuffy weirdos like them anyway. Yeah, sitting around eating like crumpets and drinking tea and talking about how much money they have. How lame is that? Yeah, for real, man. Well, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's go do something. I need to distract myself. I'm still kind of upset. Yeah, man, that sounds good. Let's hang out and uh, let's get some snacks, too. Yeah, that sounds great. Curtis, we have to talk. There is too many poor people around here and I am starting to get uncomfortable. Oh yes, my friend, that's true. I'm sorry you're feeling so grossed out and uncomfortable as I am. These poor people are really starting to affect me. Yeah, I know. Just this morning, I saw one walking across the street near us. I mean, what if they come closer? What if we get their homeless person disease? You know, the one that makes you homeless and poor? Oh, don't even say that. Could you imagine walking? I mean, don't you have a car? Don't you have, like, five? Gosh. I know, it's pathetic. I mean, oh, I can't even get into it, but we have to find a way to stop all these homeless people. All the poor people seem to be living in this area kind of close to here. There's got to be something we can do. Well, luckily, I have a few friends in town hall. I think I have an idea of what we might be able to do. Oh yeah? What's that? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to buy the land, and then we're going to turn it into a dump. That way, it'll kick everybody out, and they'll have nowhere to live, and they'll just be far away from us. Ha ha ha, I love that idea. Great job, Curtis. Now let's get started with our plan. Excuse me, disgusting homeless person. We need to talk to you. What? My name's not homeless person. My name's Barney, and I'm not even homeless. I got a home. Ugh, that's a home? I don't think so. Wait, Reginald, do you understand this man? I mean, I don't speak homeless. Wait, and is that even a house? What's going on here? What do you guys want, okay? We're nowhere near your stupid club. Just leave me alone. This is where I live, okay? I don't need this stuff from you. Well, it's not gonna be your home for very much longer, I can tell you that. Wait, what are you talking about? You guys will only have a few more days that you can stay on this property until we turn it into a dump. What? No, you can't do that. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. We're working on buying this land, and when it goes through, you will be out of here. You will be finished. No more poor people in our towns. Do you understand me? You can't do this, okay? We have rights. I own this land. Well, I rented, I, I think. I don't know. It's been a long time. Well, the paperwork is already going through, and it's only going to be a few days. There's nothing you can do about it. We need a place to throw out all our old trash, and the land here is disgusting, so it might as well be here. I'm not going to let you guys get away with this. Oh, yeah? Well, watch us.
Mac, dude, we gotta talk. Something serious is happening. Oh, Barney, you look really upset. What's going on? The stupid rich guys from the Rich People Only Club just showed up, man. And they said that they're gonna take this land and turn it into a dump. They're gonna kick all of us out. What? They can't do that. Why would they even think about turning this place to a dump? This is our home. I don't know. They were super disrespectful about it, too. And they said that there's really nothing we can do, man. But there's got to be something, right? We can't let these people do this to us. We have to stand up for our home. You know what we should do? We should break into their club and trash it. No. Better yet, we should infiltrate it. We should go in and pretend like we're rich people. And then maybe we can stop them from the inside out, you know? We can convince them things aren't bad with poor people. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's infiltrate their club and show them that we are just the same as them. Doesn't matter how much money we have. Yeah, exactly. All right, Curtis, I can't believe we're here at night. This is disgusting, but we gotta find a way to mess with these homeless people. We gotta find a way to make them want to leave. Exactly, and it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, look at where they're living. Their lives are already awful. I know. I'm not exactly sure what we should do. I thought about maybe flooding it, but I don't even know if there's running water around here. Probably not. So, maybe we should just go around and steal some of their things, you know, like... This garbage. Oh, I think that's a splendid idea. I mean, we can't get in trouble for it, right? We could just say we're cleaning up the environment, taking away all this trash. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. And maybe we'll post a couple Instagram pictures as well, showing us how good people we are, you know, saving the city and all that. Oh, yes, this will be great publicity. Then we can get rid of the homeless problem once and for all. I can't believe this, Curtis. We have found the best plan ever. <laughs> of course, my friend, of course. All right, well, let's get to it. We can load up the trucks. Well, actually, why don't we just pay somebody to do it? No, no. I think we need to do this ourselves because I want to feel connected to the project. Reginald, you're really going in deep with this one. I mean, I'm paying someone to clean up for me. I'm not touching this gross stuff. No, Curtis, it has to be us. Come on now. Think about it. All the posts, all of the Instagram videos and YouTube videos we can say we were out here helping. It's going to make us millions. <laughs> yes, just more millions to add to the bank. All right, let's just get this over with. Oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? It's like my house has been robbed and everything out here is gone. Mac, dude, all my stuff is stolen. Dude, someone came and took all my stuff too. It's gone. Who would do such a thing? I mean, we didn't have a lot to begin with. Nobody from the neighborhood would steal from anybody else because we're all in this together. You're right, dude. And I don't think it was anyone from here for sure. I was talking to Steve down the street. He said he saw those two rich people driving off in these huge trucks. Gosh, it's definitely the people from the club. They just want to get rid of all of us. Can't just get rid of us. We're people. I know. And they need to start realizing that. You know what? We don't have to infiltrate this club. We need to take it down. Yeah, exactly. Like my original plan. Let's just take the whole thing down. Maybe we should get some toilet paper and some eggs or something. No, we got to do something really drastic. Something serious. I got a plan. Come on, let's go. Haha, oh, Curtis, I can't believe it. We got all of those poor people's things here. Ugh, Reginald, can't you smell it? It just smells like poorness and desperation. I know, it's disgusting. I had to take like 14 showers after I got home and I still don't feel clean. Ugh, I know, we should have just paid people like we said. But luckily, I mean, everything's been going to plan. Look, I have like at least 10,000 likes on my new picture of me cleaning up the poor part of the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm so happy for you, my friend. But the thing is, is now we have all of this gross stuff. What should we do with it? 
Do we give it back to them? I don't think so. Why would they want garbage back? That doesn't make any sense. What do you do with garbage, my friend? You burn it. You know what, Curtis? You made a great, great point there. I say we burn it all. (laughs) Yes, my friend. I mean, I am well educated. I didn't go to three Ivy League schools for nothing. That's true. That's true. Okay, well, let's get to burning then. Officer, is there something I can help you with? Uh, yeah, listen guys, I came down here because we kind of got a problem. And what is this problem? Well, there was like at least 25 to like 50 homeless people at my office this morning freaking out that you guys stole their stuff. Stole? We were simply just cleaning up the neighborhood. Yeah, 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 I understand that, but listen... There's a lot of homeless people at my office, and I mean a lot of them, okay? It's a big problem, and I gotta do something about it. (laughs) Oh, my friend, I understand. That is quite a problem. Um, is there anything we can do? Can we, like, throw you some money or something to, like, get rid of this problem? (laughs) Yeah, no, listen, Ken, I'm already rich, so that- I don't need money. Uh, I gotta arrest you guys. What? That's absurd. Get your hands off me. You cannot arrest me. Listen, now you're resisting arrest, so actually, yeah, I really have to arrest you this time. Come on, guys. You're going to jail. Oh, no. I can't believe this. We did it, Mac. I can't believe it. We took down the Rich People Only Club. Yeah, that thing needed to close down. And luckily, we got this building so that all the rest of our friends could actually live in a house. I know. Can you believe it? Those two guys just hung out in a place that was so big that it could house, like, everybody in the city. Yeah, it's kind of over the top, but... At least we're using it for good now. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know, now everybody's got a chance. I mean, I've been working and going to school and I don't know, things are looking up for us, man. I'm really excited. Yeah, this is actually going to work out. Maybe we should thank those rich guys after all. I mean, they kind of changed our lives in a weird way. Yeah, they kind of did. But I hope that they learn their lesson that just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better than other people. Everybody's the same no matter what. That's right. We're all just human beings in this world together. It doesn't matter how much money you have. That's silly. Yeah, exactly. But hey, look, we're in this house now. Let's go enjoy that massive TV that they have. Uh, Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. Let's do it. 